Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Monday Mayhem Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. This is the night where we used to just watch the longest-running episodic program on television because it was the best wrestling on the planet. Now we just wish we are watching something else and talk about that. Let's remember wrestling. Let's remember good wrestling. There's plenty out there, and we got plenty with us tonight. We have, first of all, I don't know which button it is. There it is. We have Mad Mike up in Beacon, New York. Good. I haven't, I haven't talked to you in like two weeks. I know, Sorg. It's, it's a... It's been quite a journey. Mm -hmm. Um, I was sick over Christmas. Oh, no. Uh, Yeah, I was sick over Christmas. So I consumed all of the media Mm -hmm. and none of and none of the wrestling. I I gave myself kind of a wrestle break. Ooh, I kind of too. Like, like well, there were episodes of NXT and Raw. I didn't even watch. Jeez. Oh, well, speaking... I, I, I gave I gave myself that time. Speaking of not wrestling and a little bit of the mainstream we have with us, mainstream Matt is back with us. What's happening? That's right. Excited off of his uh, uh, New Japan Wrestling High. All the shows, Sorgi. All of I them. them all. I did not watch them all live. No. It did not work well, out for me. That's but hard. It's hard watch, to do that um, for three nights in a row. Through the magic of the internet, I did watch uh, both nights of Wrestle Kingdom. And I did watch New Year's Dash this morning, mm-hmm. and New Japan has my 999 yen, mm-hmm. so I did it all on the upfront. So, and uh, you know what? God damn, that's some good wrestle. Mm-hmm. So good. Uh, fresh, 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 just a good, fresh, fresh on wrestles. there. Good, uh, feeling, feeling, feeling some good wrestles. Uh, but anyways, so I, I guess let's 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 kick off. I mean, we um, there was a lot going on. Uh, I, I. Did not refrain from the wrestling guys. I, I caught some Woo. KSWA Battle Bowl. Our friend Beastman <laughs> won the Battle Bowl, so he gets a title shot. Uh, I, uh, thanks to the lady uh, producer Missy, got me tickets to uh, AIW. Um, it's baby, it's too cold outside with too cold Scorpio. And, and who else uh, was there? The Insane Clown Posse. Okay, I mean, of course. On, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Guys, it is a- AIW is ECW reborn. Like, they're at that point right now. It's amazing. And how good was uh, Scorpio? Scorpio was great. Yeah. So it was Scorpio, <laughs> Matt Cross, and a couple other guys that I don't think uh, – well, I keep forgetting their names, too. Uh, but <laughs> it was it was fantastic. ICB came out, put PB Smooth through a table. Um, Alley Cat was teaming with them. They went, came out and rescued Hornswoggle and Cole Cabana. From, uh, wow. Right. That sounds like a tag team that would need some rescuing. There you go. That there just sounds <laughs> like JCW. It basically was. It basically yeah. was. So it was a lot of fun. Um, and again, just just good to just kind of enjoy the show. I go to Cleveland, see the see the clowns. I haven't seen the Insane Clown Posse yet all this year. Amazingly. Um, so didn't go to the gathering. They haven't, I think, been around Pittsburgh that I've been able to go or anything. So uh, it was good to, to do that. And again, you know, see it in person when AIW is doing up there. I hear so much from the podcast and on, online and everything uh, to be there. So. Um, but anyways, look up extreme TNT wrestling. Alex is telling me in the chat room, oh, everybody, boy. everybody dies. Lance Archer, <laughs> Lance Archer, man. Yeah. So there's a lot going on and, and, and Matt, Matt, you gotta, you gotta hard out here, but very quickly, we do need to get the first Lego update of yes, the decade. Exactly. I, I, I agree. Everything oh, has oh, to take it back. Which seat. I have to, can I actually do aside from that? Speaking of at AIW, there was a death match. And there are Legos involved. And from where I was sitting on the stage, it just looked like the Legos appeared out of nowhere uh, from the crowd underneath me and Excellent. into the ring, a box mm-hmm. of Legos. Where did I see? I saw Legos in WWE. On uh, SmackDown. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, during the... Um, the Miracle on 34th Street fight. Yeah, the one where uh, what, Dash disappeared in a tree, I think. Oh, that's the, yeah. yeah, the one where they yeah, they threw Dash into the Christmas tree and he disappeared. Mm-hmm. That was weird. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got so, some good stuff. Anyways, Mad anyway, yeah, Mike... Yeah, yeah. You said okay. you were sick. That means you completely completed Hogwarts Castle. Fuck no. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Sorg, this thing is 6,000 pieces. Okay. Um, but I did get quite a bit more done than Ooh, the last time. Ooh, look at that. Actually, it looks there, like a castle. 
from this side. From this side, it's not quite done. Oh, and but, it's an exposed. But there are Dementors on the castle. Oh, there they are, hanging out so up there. Dementors nice. invading the castle. Nice. So, yeah, and uh, this will be where the staircases go. Okay. And there are little sliders here because the staircases move. So, yeah, it's going to be really exciting. <laughs> Fantastic. And and the best thing for Christmas, because I was apparently a very good boy this year, <laughs> once I finish the Hogwarts castle, which I still have all of this to go. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, I got three more Lego Harry Potter sets. Jeez. <laughs> That's a lot of Potter. <laughs> that is a whole lot of Potter. <laughs> You're going to have your own My wizarding world. To- my goal, and I think their ultimate goal, is to keep releasing larger sets that interconnect together. Mm. You have a larger life-size scale Hogwarts. <laughs> You're gonna be that guy that like, like, hey, I gotta take out the entire garage because I have to have this big like board with all this set up on it, like, mm-hmm. like, like Ramp up with the train set or the yeah, uh, yeah or those slot to, racers, right? You're yep. gonna need the train set here at some point. Yeah, we had that. Said, I also need a garage. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Because as of right now, uh, it's, it's right above there in the loft. That's where my Simpsons house is. Mm-hmm. So. Mm. But yeah, mm. I'm working on it. I'm well, working on it. Well, just, just have to put an addition on. Yeah, uh, I, I'm almost halfway done with the Hogwarts castle. So. so anyways, like I said, it was Wrestle Kingdom weekend. We had two nights of Wrestle Kingdom. Matt Carlin's is our resident uh, New Japan follower because all the shows come on when he's awake. <laughs> true, true. True. You live you basically live in Japan time zone. Yeah, it's a, you do, fun fact Sorg, it's already 2021 in Japan. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. What a time to be alive. We already Japan know Japan time zone jokes every time In Japan we already know if AEW was successful. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um wow. Well, I mean, what do you want to talk about? I would much rather hear Sorg about what you took away from Wrestle Kingdom. What I took away from Wrestle Kingdom. First of all, here's a basic question for you. Are you more or less convinced of a two-night super pay-per-view model coming out of this than you were going into it? Less. 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 It felt less of a Wrestle Kingdom to me. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It felt like, night one felt like, hell yeah, you know, this is going to be awesome. And night two was more like, let's get to this main event. And let's yeah, you know, yeah, let's yeah. get down. Um, yeah. Yeah. I felt I felt like it was um, like the the entire first I say half three matches of the first night felt like I'm like this feels like Road to the Tokyo Dome and not the Tokyo Dome. Yeah. Right. You know. I mean, Liger was one thing, but you know, having the 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 six man eight man tag matches like yeah. just feels like it was like another show. Right. But I guess that's all their undercard is, right? I mean, that is kind of the deal. I mean, I'd, I'd have to look at some past Russell Kingdom cards to see if exactly how much they got into it. But yeah, there was yeah. a little bit of that. But at the same time, like for me being like <clears throat> having, you know, spent a good amount of time watching these, you know, New Japan shows now, I'm kind of used to like, hey, let's do the old eight man tag. Let's, you know, let's see LIJ versus, you know, Chaos eight man tag. And you know, it's just going to be 10 minutes, maybe a little bit less. You know, everyone's going to have their fun and you're going to be in and you're going to be out. So, you know, you're not going to be sitting there for like 25 minutes watching this match. It's going to be just a nice, a quick little thing to kind of, you know, and you might get some indication of like who's going to be paired up with who going forward. Uh, So there's at least something to pay attention to. It's not Mm -hmm. a waste of time, Mm -hmm. uh, but you're right. I mean, like on that first night, like, and then it hit, um, you know, Moxley and Archer. And then it was like, it was game on from there on out. Yeah, It was Uh, like, um, it was, it was like, Okay, there's the stuff, and we know the last three matches. Like we go into it expecting a 40 minute match at this point, right? Well, yeah. Whether it is or not, it will be like a longer, crazy something. You're yeah, you're gonna get a main event New Japan match. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So I, I I took away I, so I took away that. I don't know if I like the two night concept. I don't know if they. So should you're do not it again. you're not sitting here now thinking like you know what maybe two night WrestleMania is the way to go. No. Uh, no, 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 no. So you'd rather? No. So we're gonna stick with seven hour WrestleMania. I, I don't think that's. I don't think that's right either. I. I think you know. 
You you could also just do a five hour WrestleMania and make every match on the card important. See, even I think like five hour WrestleMania is excessive. I think four hours is as far yeah. as you should yeah, go. Yeah, I think I think that should be it. But four hours is like standard length for a pay per view. Well, days. I mean, well, they, they, these days they're kind of coming in like. Well, I mean, I guess you're right, but I mean, no, trust me, I'm right. Well, look, even <laughs> well, well, I'm here to tell you that's too long for a standard pay per view. Mm. Um. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm here to tell the world, if they're listening, just about every wrestling show you attend is too goddamn long. <laughs> every single one. Hey, Whatever well, show true. you went to. You went to AIW over the weekend? Yeah, yeah. That show? Too damn long. Guarantee there was Actually, a match they could have gone without. Ah, uh, you, you know, know what, man? They were pretty... The local pretty... Indies? Guaranteed. Uh, there was a listen. match or two that could have gone too damn long. I, 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 some are. Yeah. There was back-to-back days where I had 11, 12 match shoots yeah and it was like okay why do we have all these people in the too card? damn long yeah it's like why you know like, like those there's a couple other promotions that are notorious for this show is way way too long why got, uh, why does why does this guy need to have a match on this card now now aiw i thought was well paced there was a lot happening there's a lot of people that didn't get on the card and they had two pre-show matches yeah i mean and and i will and i will say also in that regard i think the way New Japan does Wrestle Kingdom is mm-hmm. very well paced too. I mean, they like their match they do. done, match, they do. match, match, they match. Do. Um, and and so I mean, and the undercard is always short. So like by the time you get to like, you know what? I've only got three matches left, and you know what? All these matches are going to rule. So I mean, let's yeah, settle in. Yeah. Let's watch. Oh, this I only thing. have three so, matches left. I also still have three hours left in the show. I know, I know they're going like, to take two hours match. to get yes. through them, but it's yes. only three matches left. Yeah. And once you get to that main event, I mean, you know, you know, get your popcorn. Get your double popcorn for a yep. Okada match. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Strap in. Here we go. Jeez. Um, um, so, uh, Ibushi. Yeah. Um, uh, murder Mode Ibushi is my favorite Ibushi. Blank stare. Blank murder stare, Mode Ibushi. No cell bullshit. <laughs> oh, we got people. We got we got some drunks on the window right now. Knocking on the window. <laughs> Have a great night. <laughs> Beach so, is finest. Yeah. So blank is blank stare. Murder did we lock the door? Murder oh, mode God, Ibushi, did we lock yeah. the door? They better not come we in here. We did. It is, so is Ibushi in murder mode because Kenny Omega has declared Michael Nakazawa as his best friend now? Oh. oh we oh, got no. jokes. Oh. Um, no, I mean, no, it's, I, just like the, it's just the equivalent of um, him hulking up. No, I, I was I was legitimately asking. I don't think Michael Nakazawa has jack shit to do with what Koto Ibushi is doing <laughs> in New Japan. Okay. Nor does he have pretty much anything to do with what AEW is doing right now either. Right. So so here's right. a, and this is uh, Tina brought this up in the chat. The main main of night two could have ended on a happier note, not the blindside attack. Um, Did you hear I, that heat? Uh, yes, yes. Well, here's the thing. I I'm used to. New Year's Dash is where we get the attack yeah, yeah, set yeah. up. Yeah. Like that that never seemed to have happened in the, my experience of, of Wrestle Kingdom so far. It was like you got your match, you got your moment, and 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 that was the show. And then we set up everything tomorrow night, right? But we had yeah. that. We had Moxley with um Moxley with um that was just slap fighting. Minoru Suzuki. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I'm too tired to get all these Japanese names straight. If you only remember one Japanese wrestler's name, Minoru Suzuki is the one you want to remember. That is the one that I should. Yes. Yeah. Um, the other one that I used to is now in NXT. Sorry, Kushida. Um, to your point, what were we talking about again? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, run-ins. Oh, to your point of how the second night ended, mm-hmm. Tina. Um, th- here's kind of my feeling on it. If if you give Naito <clears throat> the absolute fairy tale confetti happy ending, you know, in the Tokyo Dome mm-hmm. at the end of the night, mm-hmm. his story as a, a character is over. Mm-hmm. You know, there's nothing. So else. by taking away that, mm-hmm. now what you've done is you've you know taken this you know, seven year journey or however long you want to look at it. Um, there's actually th- uh, this one guy did this amazing video about it. I think I retweeted it. If you want to check out my Twitter, I'll try to find it. Okay. Uh, it might be there. And if it's not, I'll try to track it down and retweet it for everybody here, but it's a great kind of um, recap of kind of like Naito's story, how he became LIJ and all that other stuff. And kind of this seven year journey between being like just a broken, you know, or coming up being the chosen one, 
you know, it not working out, him being, him falling out of favor, him going to Mexico, him reinventing himself, him coming back. This whole journey, all just to get back, you know, to the main event of the Tokyo Dome and then not to just get there, which he's already had been in the main event of the Tokyo Dome and lost to mm -hmm. Okada a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. Now he makes it. Now he wins. But this can't be the end. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, now we need another thing. Now we need something else from the chase. So now the next. You know, so now what is the next thing for Naito to pursue well, Kenta, it is his career goal? It's yeah. not just immediately to seek revenge on Kenta, but, you know, somewhere down the line, the story will have to be Naito must, you know, get back to the Tokyo Dome and have his moment in the sun to bask in the in the adulation of the fans. Because mm. when he finally climbed that mountain, the last time it was taken away from him. Yeah. yeah. So now there is still another mountain. That's another sacred. Now there's another long term mountain to climb. For Naito, which is very important in, at least it seems to be in, in New Japan's uh, booking I, philosophy, I, I, is that there must always be a long, you know, this long term yeah, goal. Yeah, I, I, I kind of have a counterpoint to that, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, you say if he gets the fairy tale ending and everything, that there's nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just saying, let's apply that to something that happened last year at WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. When Kofi won the title. Yep. Would you think it was okay if, like, Woods and Big E lift him up to celebrate and then just beat the shit out of him? No, that would have been a terrible idea in yeah, that situation. Yeah. I mean, every situation yeah. is different. I'm, okay. I, I'm saying it's, it's, like, it, it, it's, it's almost a, it's like a, it's a different story. And look, and look, Okada wins in the Tokyo Dome mm -hmm. and he basks in the adulation of the fans. Yeah. And he does it year after year after yeah. year after year. And Tanahashi does it year after year after year. And it works because that's their Th character. This but is Naito a, is a different, is a different is a kind of character. This is a sacred moment that you yeah. get that time to bask and interview and talk to the fans and uh and and kenta ruined that in in because i was kind of in a little bit watching this show also bull club feels like bull club is no longer bullet club oh they are bullet wait, club. wait 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 wait, wait. <laughs> the feeling no give me I, a second yeah, yeah, I, I, I they are that. just another faction like chaos like lij you know for me as a western watcher okay right um there's there wasn't like that hard edge bullet club. oh it's bullet club yeah you know. i know what you mean because there was that time where it was almost like as an American wrestling fan, you were like, I'm cheering for Bullet Club. Everyone hates them, yes. but these are the Westerners, and I'm going to pull for yes. these are my guys. But it was yeah. just like I, like, I think somebody said when we were watching here, we had a few people over watching here in the studio uh, all weekend, and I think somebody said it's like they're cosplaying as Bullet Club now. See, I feel like, like post-elite Bullet Club mm -hmm. has been fantastic okay. to me okay. but you've been, gone, you've been following it like again because, i drop in on yeah, wrestle kingdom they have gone back to their roots mm -hmm. they are just the biggest bunch of jagoffs on the face of the earth so Jeff Jarrett's back <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> they have got the sorry God, i said this to you earlier they've got the holy trinity of heels right now okay jay white kenta and el phantasmo those are the th those right, are the Jay three. Wade, facial those hair, three guys, facial him, hair, Jay White, him by and the way. his shitty beard, <laughs> and his it's, just like ink. the worst human. And, and then they're like, "No, you know what? El Fantasma is the worst human being." That's right. That's but you right. know what? Maybe Kenta is the worst human uh -huh, being. So uh -huh, I mean, uh -huh. those three guys. Um, I like the Bullet Club right mm -hmm. now. I think they're amazing, uh, and they are positioning them kind of where they're in a position now to become like the main threat to, um, to Naito and the LIJ. So the thought of like, you know, these, you know, and, and you know, this is new Japan. So we're going to get some eight man tags, Sorg. What? <laughs> so we're going to get got a lot of uh, eight man tags between bullet club and LIJ uh, mm -hmm. to look forward to. And I, I think it's going to be great. Um, wow. um, and I'm, I, and I'm really looking forward to seeing, seeing Kenta and Naito kind of do their thing because I mean, it's one thing to see like, Naito with Okada and Naito with Tanahashi, and you kind of mm -hmm. get that very athletic, you know, sports based thing. Kenta is, ain't doing that. He is, I mean, if anyone watched the interaction between Naito and Kenta at uh, New Year's Dash, it was it was cool. It was dirty. It was nasty. Nice. Uh, and Naito can play that game too. So yeah, I think yeah, it. Yeah. I think it plays a lot to. I think it plays better to Naito's strengths now, um, kind of where he's at in his career. Uh, and Kenta, I mean, you think back to where. I mean, when, when Kenta was doing the G1, uh, he had not yet joined the Bullet Club. Uh, and it, it you could see that he was reinvigorated. 
Um, but he wasn't all the way there. Like it didn't feel like he was fully in the zone and he fully had his groove back. Um, you see him at New Year's Dash, so you have to check it out. Like he is just like the charisma and the confidence and the swagger. Like he is all the way back mm. and he is just doing his thing. And I mean, the heat is great because I mean, just like the New Japan fans clearly still view him as an outsider. You know, they're telling, they're chanting for him to go home. <laughs> you know, it's just I don't. He's back in Japan, but they want him to go home. I, I, I don't think they want him <laughs> in their company. But it, um, it took me the longest time to remember what Kenta's name was in WWE. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I cause I, kept, I kept seeing the pictures of him from, you know, this past weekend. And I'm like. God, like I feel like I've only known him as Kenta because I could not remember mm-hmm. what his name was in WWE. But I mean, yeah, and for me too. I mean, it, it was so long ago that when 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 Kenta came over here and joined NXT, you know, I only knew him by reputation. I had never seen a Kenta match at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I, I mean, I liked what I saw, you know, in NXT. But you know, what he's done since then is he's on another level now. It's good to see. Well, tremendous. Hey, I, I know you got a heart out here, and and there's something peeking over your shoulder. If you guys are joining us on video, that who wants you to want... talk about Mayhem Mania, Sorg? Oh, this is the this first is, this official is preview. This is for all my friends. Like, I want to throw the, the camera over all here the, so you can see what's going on. All the agents of chaos out there in the chat rooms and on the Facebook group who are looking forward to Mayhem Mania, oh, I'm gonna show shit. you one of their it's new the, the new toy for what Mayhem Mania this? this year. This may look oh, like oh, Sorg. Oh. This may look like a wheel. It, it, this is not a wheel. Yeah, it's not just a wheel. Oh, okay. It's a forbidden portal. What? <laughs> <laughs> so instead of doing the eliminators, we're going to change the rules a little bit. And if um if instead of eliminating someone, you will banish them to the forbidden portal. And oh, then, that is way then, messed up on video, and man. And then <laughs> at the beginning of each round, what we'll do is we'll give the wheel a spin and we'll see if anyone can escape the forbidden portal. So uh it's kind of like um, what was the thing? Where are these space jail for Superman? What what's that one called, Mike? The Phantom Zone. Like, it's kind of like the Phantom Zone, except it's the Forbidden Portal. Wait, wait, wait. hold on, hold on, hold on. So hold on, hold on. It how makes a great sound, get, by the way. How do people get sent to the Forbidden Zone? To be determined. Oh, okay, okay. I, I thought you just explained it. I'm like, you just breeze past. I'm like, wait, what? The oh, I there's a long list of rules, Mike. I'm gonna <laughs> have to fair. consult the uh the I, the, I feel the, the, the lore. The lore is tight on this. <laughs> if, if I may make a suggestion, right. if I may make a suggestion, just because I know I'm, I'm aware of the lore, I know the lore. Anyone who invokes the Alex Carr's rule <laughs> gets sent to the Phantom. You want to send? You want to send actual players to the Forbidden Portal? To see, yes. Are we going to send Larry to the Forbidden Portal and yes. see if he can escape anyone, it? Anyone who tries to book Bart Gunn. Get sent to the Forbidden Zone. <laughs> I love that phrase, the Forbidden Portal. They don't refer to AEW by name on New Japan broadcasts. They call it the Forbidden Portal. Wait, is that real? <laughs> because Jericho, because Jericho said this when he was uh, making the stipulation oh. for Tanahashi. He goes, Tanahashi, if you can defeat me at Wrestle Kingdom, you will enter the Forbidden Portal. I'm like, wow. Oh, but it is, you know, from their perspective, yes, AEW oh, is boy. the forbidden portal to New Japan. Uh, but maybe they will find a workaround. Alex so. is Al- Alex is asking if uh, Enzo's banned forever. Yes. I mean, we'll yeah. figure out how to how to fill this thing up. We've got how many spots do we have on here? Twenty four spots. That's a lot of people to to banish to space Jeez. jail. So <laughs> we'll space see if anyone jail. can break out. I love it. I love All it. I'm seeing is Lego Batman movie in my head now. <laughs> Welcome to the Phantom Zone. <laughs> I love Hi, it. bad guy. <laughs> uh, Matt, Let's see how bad you've been. <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> I know. You're bad. I'm Gladys. Welcome to the Phantom Zone. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything else you caught on your break, uh, caught up with, or, or anything, Matt? Uh, I finished The Mandalorian. <laughs> Yeah, you want to talk about some solid Let's booking? You want, you want to talk it. about some fan service? Even I knew what that shit was at the end of that last episode. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. ain't seen a damn episode of Rebels, but I knew what that was. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, it was fun. I, I saw the new Star Wars. Mm-hmm. I took my 10-year-old son with me. He thought it was fun. Mm-hmm. Um, that's all that really matters. It's for that's the kids, sort of. And you went to a live WWE show. I did. Um, I missed it because I went to AIW in Cleveland. You know oh, what? So you got the, Wait, Matt, were you at the show where um, the ring announcer became 24-7 champion? I did. Wow. I, just, oh. I witnessed history, Sorg. Oh, and, wow. I didn't, and, and unfortunately, I'm such a jaded wrestler viewer, and now I'm like, Oh, cute. Mike Rome won the 24-7 championship. I'm sure they've done this on every single show. Uh-uh. Nope. I saw history, and I didn't realize it until later. But, um, yeah, it was cool. Like, and, and um, <laughs> I, you know, what? WWE house shows are great. They're great. They uh, they overdid it just a little bit. They went a, I, they, every show is too long, Sorg. They probably could have shaved one match off of this. But <laughs> I, I, I never have a bad time at a WWE house show. They're just so tight. And fun, and there's always intermission. It's great. Um, were, were you at the show where Randy Orton faked an injury? No, that was the next night. That was the next. Night. I okay. got you see the night before at MSG. They got to see Andrade win the U.S. Yeah. title. The night after, uh, wherever they were, they got to see Randy Orton hurt his knee. I got to see Mike Rome win the 24/7 title. So <laughs> fuck you. Um, <laughs> That's what we think of Pittsburgh. <laughs> if it makes Take you that. feel better, I know someone who was at the MSG house show. He said the rest of it was hot garbage. Yeah. So well, I mean, I had, I like I said, I, I think all WWE house shows are great. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun, and um, yeah, and we got a big surprise appearance from Samoa Joe at the very end of the uh, show. Nice. Unannounced Samoa Joe run in at the end of a house show to save Kevin Owens, and that place was lit. Nice. Yeah. So it was awesome. It's a good time. I I love it. I love it. Uh, and I think they're coming back here for Raw in March. We we usually yeah, get got the usual. We get the like, um, three, six, the usual four. two weeks before WrestleMania show. Yeah, yeah they're yeah, back. Yeah. They always come or back for WrestleMania 3, season. 16. It's on three sixteen. Oh, I wonder what's gonna happen there. Oh man, that would be, that would be a nice treat, wouldn't it? Uh huh. Yeah, we'll have to see. Austin's awesome gonna tell you some shit IPA. Yeah. Oh, let's bring it on, man. <laughs> I've never tried it. Is that any good? I don't, I, I don't know. I don't it. Although I did, I did by the by the by, get a chance to try a little bit of the bubbly, and and uh, it's bubbly. Yeah. I, <laughs> uh, but I was with uh, several. Um, thank you, thank you, friend of the show, Chris Larusso, for uh, allowing me to try some of the bubbly. A little bit of the bubbly. A little bit of the bubbly. What a nice guy. And also watching everybody do the impression of a little bit of the bubbly. You can't really so, stop it. Uh, I think I think they drink a little bit more of, of the good stuff than I do. So I I went with their opinion. I was like. It wasn't bad, so. I mean, whatever gets you there. Yeah, whatever gets. You there. <laughs> That's my feeling whatever on it. Whatever gets you to where you need so, to someone, go. Someone, someone got me a bottle of um, moonshine from uh, Georgia for Christmas. Oh boy! And uh, like peach shine. Okay. Uh, so okay. It, was, it tasted a little bit like peach. When I mean, we popped it open, we we're like, "So, how are we supposed to drink moonshine?" I'm like, I don't know. Get some glasses. Clink, clink, clink. We just like clink straight from the jar. You drink I it. We're like, you know what? Oh, yeah. We're, yeah. we're drinking moonshine now. Drink it straight from and clean your car with it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's how it goes. It was pretty good. <laughs> what about you, Mike? You said you, you consumed a lot. Oh, my God. I All right. I watched The Mandalorian. Yes. I saw uh, Star Wars. Yes. I saw Knives Out. Yes. Oh, very good. Very good. Great. I saw – I watched all of The Boys on Amazon. Nice. Good series. Very good. Um. Oh, God. What else did I see? I saw – um, this movie with Anna Kendrick called A Simple Favor, which was actually delightful. Okay. It, it I highly recommend it. It's it's I'm not going to talk too much about it, but it's about um a mom who makes friends with another mom. And this mom asks Anna Kendrick to watch her kid and then disappears. And then I'm not going to say any more about the plot. Is it a lifetime movie? No, it sounds like a lifetime no, movie. No, this was theatrical. Mm-hmm. It was it was surprisingly very good. Mm, okay. It reminded me of Wild Things without the threesome. Mm. <laughs> I know which time. Nev Campbell was just here in the Pittsburgh too. Ha! <laughs> uh, let's see. I also saw Noel, uh, the the Disney uh, Santa movie with Anna Kendrick. It was it was, oh. it was delightful. Okay. All the Anna Kendrick. Okay. Yes. Um. It, it was it was a delightful little Christmas movie. Um. I watched Die Hard a whole bunch. Obviously. I did. I did watch. I I got halfway through it. Usually I start things and fall asleep. Yeah. 
especially yeah. over the uh, holidays. I'm trying to think, and uh, my plan is hopefully this weekend to see Uncut Gem, uh, Uncut Gems. Yeah. So I didn't. Tina, Tina pointed this. Oh, Uncut Gems was very good. Yes. Yes. Um, would you say you're going to or did? I'm going to. Okay. I, I okay. I'm to... not gonna. I I want to know your thoughts as somebody that lived in New York. Okay. Afterwards. Okay. Okay. Do it. No. I felt it was very much they got New York at least what I perceive as New York City. Okay, so. which is funny because Sandler is not from New York. No, 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 no. I, and it's not about <laughs> it, it, it's not about Sandler. It's about the the uh, atmosphere uh, of gotcha. the movie. So, um, uh, uh, Tina's pointing out knocking point: the winery uh, that the little bit of the bubbly is from is part owned by Stephen Amell. Oh yeah, huh? How about that? It all comes yeah. together. How about a little that? bit of the arrow? A little bit of the arrow. Uh, geez. Oh, what... and by the way, this is a public service announcement too. Um. For something to consume this week, uh, don't watch it live because it interferes with our podcast tomorrow night. But Jeopardy, prime time, <laughs> best of the best of the best. And I'm pretty sure they're fighting for Alex Trebek's job. Yes, I'm pretty sure we're going to watch a literal Alex and the Chocolate Factory happening. It, it, I was finding in my finding it in my Twitter feed around the time where the mayor of Pittsburgh tweeted the Black Jeopardy skit from uh, SNL mm-hmm. with Tom Hanks. So fair, yes. <laughs> also fair. Oh, and I did, I watched um, Dolomite is my name. I somebody else did too, and I I've been meaning to. Eddie Murphy is very, Dolomite. I only very, know I only know Dolomite because he made an appearance, a special appearance in Big Money Hustlers, the Insane Clown Posse movie. Of course he did. <laughs> But it's a it's a great movie. Okay, I'll have to check. Eddie that out. Murphy's fantastic. I'm actively excited for coming to America too now, <laughs> and he was great on SNL as well. Excellent, Matt. Uh, I must leave. You must but take I your leave. To, I, I must take my leave. But I just wanted to say in closing, um, one more wrestling point I wanted to make. Uh, AEW John Moxley, fantastic. One of my favorite wrestlers in the world. New Japan John Moxley. The freaking greatest man on the face of the earth. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's just what I want to say. Um, I have deep appreciation. I'm Real looking quick. forward to more. Yes. Jer- thoughts on the Jericho match this weekend? It was cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, yeah, I mean, it's Jericho, Tanahashi, <laughs> you know, doing the, playing the hits. So, that's right. I mean, it's just like Jericho's like, uh, it's like, pardon me, like I watch Jericho and I'm like, God, this is a goddamn mess, but it all works. I mean, he's yeah. so good. Yeah. yeah. He, he knows every trick in the book. So, he, he you know, he, he can make it work mm-hmm. because he's. One of the greatest of all time, I guess. I mean, we, it's safe to say that now, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, yeah, he's the man. Fantastic. So, I don't know how much more. I don't want to. I'm not ready to, like, see him against Will Ospreay or anything no, like no, that. No, no, you know, no, I don't no, know no, if he's no, ready no. for that. But you want to keep doing matches like that. That's cool. As long as you want. Awesome. Well, thank you, Mainstream Matt. Uh, go, right. go keep the city safe. Godspeed. And, uh, and hopefully we'll see you back here uh, very, very soon. Very soon. I guarantee January 21st I'll be here. Yeah, well, there's that. I guess we'll see oh. a lot of you starting January. Go take a week's rest. Is and that we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, what's that? Oh, I need to get, I need to, oh, I need to prepare. Yes, you can mentally I, prepare. I've literally had seven to, matches. I must go into seclusion and then I'll be ready. I must go into seclusion and then I'll be ready, he says. I've had seven <laughs> matches prepared and I've had to scrap all of them. Yeah. Because they've happened on some. Ah, uh, so um, also I should mention. I, I guess I let a little bit of the cat out of the bag. I was gonna. I was hoping to just kind of. But I was putting things together, and I'm like, oh, I need help. Um, so I was looking to announce tomorrow night the return of the Mayhemies. Yes. I was gonna do on next week's Wrestling Mayhem show. Yes. Um, I have. I've been compiling a list of of guests that we've had and a couple of the specials and things like that. So we're trying to work up with some categories. Um, there's a special category that I think I just hit up our Mayhem co-host in the Slack, so we'll have a conversation about that and hopefully have some for, for tomorrow night. But if you have, um, because my memory is always foggy, <laughs> I'm looking for moments of the year from Wrestling Mayhem Show. There's a thread over in the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group. Um, I know uh, Liddy has already been nominated. Uh, Lydia on Mayhem Mania, I think, was already been nominated. Yeah, that's a good one. That's definitely a good uh-huh. one. Um, uh-huh. So, so w- what do you remember? And, and try to reach out uh, uh, the rest of the year. I know Mayhem Mania is probably a big point. Um, you know, so, are we going to have a Mayhemy for recurring segment? Recurring segment? Yeah. 
like, like, like big question, mayhem mania, Lego updates. Oh, send me a message. Remind me to put that in the I, survey. I, I, I just, I want a mayhem. I like that. I like that. I like that. You want a have you, wait, have you like never gotten a mayhem? I have. Okay. I've gotten mayhemies before, but it's been it's been quite a while. Like well, we I even have we didn't do one last voice, year. I have the voicemail on my phone. Yeah. From hold on, hold on. Let me see. I mean, how I mean, we. I mean, it's like the slammies. They're not required every year, but when it's convenient for storyline. I story have line. one of those too. Technically, you have a slammy. T- <laughs> Technically, I am a slammy. Oh wait, wait, we got we was a slam for a slammy for the fans. I I have I have a oh, no. voicemail. Yes. Sorg from two thousand eight. From DJ Lunchbox saying that I want a Mayhemi. How is it short? I saved that. It's it's a minute long. Can you go ahead and play it? Can you pull it up, hold it up to the mic? Yeah, I believe so. I'm really curious about this. I know. Wow. That I've I've had that on my phone for twelve years. <laughs> twelve years. Oh no. That's amazing. Oh man. Cats in the rafters. Cats in the rafters. Mayhem getting a shout out. Bijou. Bijou. There's, there's a lot of lore in that one minute of voicemail. Bijou has been around for like five years. I know. <laughs> I know. There's um, a lot of lore. Bijou that. was my dog, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no. God, I was I was going to make a joke. I'm not even going to. Bijou was a girl from the corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But, yeah. It's, so like, I, it's like when Howard Stern would talk to homeless people. Yeah, Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Yeah, Baba Booey. <laughs> Mayhem Booey. <laughs> Mayhem Booey. <laughs> oh, boy. But, yeah. So, I want to I want to win a damn Mayhem. There you go. Game. There you go. All right, Mike. Is there anything else worth talking about in the wrestles? In the wrestles? Uh, <laughs> all right. I guess we should mention Raw tonight. Yeah, no, we don't really need to. Uh, um, real quick though, what do you think about? All right, if you had the book, if you had the book, okay. Who's your number two entrant in the Rumble? Number two entrant against yeah, Brock? Because we because we know who one is. Uh, I think you get a surprise, and uh, and I think you get a surprise, and I think it's a uh, uh, guy from the guy from the Saudi match. Oh, Tyson Fury? No, the other one. It, Game Velasquez? Yeah. Oh, could be Tyson Fury. Oh, Furry. Tyson Fury. Tyson, <laughs> Tyson Fury <laughs> coming to Pittsburgh near you. <laughs> Oh God! Please coming, coming soon to Anthrocon, Tyson Furry. Have Dutters reach out to the furry community? Please have someone come out as Tyson Furry. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Um. All right. I I don't like your fantasy booking. <laughs> I'm, I'm, wait 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 wait. If I was a WWE booker, that's what I would do. Okay, fine. If you Sorgatron, like they brought you in, like, hey, listen, we only have one job for you. You have your pick. Anyone you want that isn't already booked in a match, who's number two in the Rumble? I would go with like anyone. We're we're talking like real WWE booking, yeah. right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. real. Anyone employed currently by WWE? Um, uh, Braun. Okay, okay, that's better. Braun, and maybe Braun can actually get his like one up finally by at least throwing him out of the Rumble. Oh, that'd be 
guys. I mean, have we got? He is. He's not putting the title on the line, is he? No, of course not. No, everyone was saying that on Twitter. I'm like, no, it's because. Raw has literally built up nobody that can actually fight Brock. Well, yeah. And it, when, when Heyman said that, he was speaking the truth because the only people that could yeah. are involved in feuds with each other. Yep. Yep. Um. Because like, there's like five people that could face Brock, but they're all in feuds with each other. Seth. Right. Roll back. Oh. Roll back. Roll back. Number two. All right. Back. Number two. I have. No. Three. No. No. I got. Be- I got a new one. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. You have a new one. All right. Uh, cool. Becky Lynch. Yes. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, I have three choices. I have three choices. One I spoiled on Twitter, oh. which would be Walter. Yes, the Walter. The Walter thing was good. Walter versus Brock Lesnar. Yes, please. Um, number two, Keith Lee. Mm-hmm. Keith Lee versus Brock Lesnar. Yes and please. Yes. Number three, bro. Bro. Bro, bro, I get messed up because I spent the entire weekend hanging out with Brohemoth. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Matt Merida will be my number three. Oh, that'd be a good one. That would be a fun one. So I yeah, like it. I mean, it will probably end up being Tyson Fury. Yeah, Tyson Fury. Sadly, Sadly. Tyson it, Fury. And, and I have a feeling. And oh god, I really, really hope I'm speaking this into the world so it does not become truth. I think whoever it is is going to eliminate Brock Lesnar, and then Brock Lesnar is just going to get right back in the ring and eliminate them. Potential, potential. Yeah, potential. and then that's going to be your mania match. Whoever. Yeah, it depends is. on what that trajectory is. It's a, it's an interesting different way to set up whatever they intend to set up. It is, and... but it also speaks to what they think of the Raw roster at this point. Yeah, yeah, that'll be interesting. Um, I'm sure there'll be some NXT involved in there as well. They're pretty much at that point. Um, from what I've heard. And again, this is just internet hearsay. Uh, it's supposed to be ten, ten, ten. Makes sense. I like it. Each brand. I don't think. I don't know how that can be true, if there are surprises in it. Mm-hmm. So maybe like ten. How nine, about ten ish, ten ish, ten ish? Well, I wish they. I like for the men's rumble. As much as it would pain me personally, they should go to a forty-man rumble. Yeah, uh, they have the roster for it, don't they? They do because. Mm-hmm. But uh, I will say this. It looks like I'm excited with what they're doing with Ray and Andrade. Mm-hmm. And I think we're going to get title versus mask at Rumble. Excited for that. Um, I It was a little bit of a cluster tonight. I don't know what happened. You, you heard the ref directing people. Um, something got messed up. Um, yeah. And I felt like I, it was um, – I felt like – I feel like we did three weeks of, of Raw story in like five minutes in, at the end of this match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, and the thing is, Rob was not terrible. No, no, no. It, it, there's a lot of good. Was, uh, the three way tag was great. Yeah. Um, the the uh, other matches. The US title match was US great. US title match was great. Um, Drew McIntyre just. I I don't know what's going. I don't on. know what's going on, but it was kind of like, okay, Drew, you're having some fun out there, but and also squashing faces. So like he was, but he's got he's got like the people behind him. He's doing this counting thing. And he does. Uh, where was something else that he was? He it looked like he was going. He just looked like he was having fun out there. Also, I'm pretty sure uh, Eric Rowan snuck into the temple and stole something. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a little messed up. We're getting a little weird with it. Um, well, I think they finally figured out what they want to be under there. So now it's like, oh, we can have people interact with this thing now. Okay, okay, yeah, we had the jobber like come out with like a bloody face. So um, yeah, um, I assume it's just a tiny, tiny, tiny gangrel. How about the big show? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, all right. <laughs> hey, hey. Props to Big Show. Mm-hmm. He had an entire segment on a show where he didn't turn on the people he came out with. It's a good 2020 so far. Hey, you know. Straight well, off of your uh, Apple Jacks box and or was it Golden Crisp? I don't know. Uh, Golden Crisp. He's Golden Crisp. Which one's Becky? Becky is. She's not Apple Jacks. Another Maybe one. she was Apple Jacks. It's, no, it's not Apple Jacks. No. I don't not the one I saw Honey the other day. Honey Crisp? Maybe? Cinnamon Toast Crunch? I don't know. Hmm. Something. She's a cereal. She's a cereal lady. She's a cereal lady. We'll figure it out. All right. Anyways, um, 
Uh, I will say this. Mm -hmm. Lovely to see John Morrison back on SmackDown. Yes. You know what? I sort of love what they're doing with The Miz. Yes. Oh, the slow deterioration of, of him and... Good. Like the people interfering with Bray that that are falling apart, like uh-huh. I like we I was ta- I forgot who was talking about that the other day, it is fantastic. It, it, like, and 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 I've said this before, I will say this until the end of time. When you give Miz character motivation, mm-hmm. he is the best in the company. Absolutely, he is the absolute best in the company at what he does when he is focused and has an objective there is literally no one and and i will i will die on this hill there is no one who can sell a story better than michael mazanin that that's that's just truth absolutely that's just truth. You, you guys can please email in if you think i'm wrong about that but i I will refute every single statement. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Meg. I think we need to save some for uh, mayhem tomorrow. It is. Guess, yeah. No, so so we, we kind of have two special things. Well, we have a lot of special things going on. Tomorrow is going to be our anniversary episode. We started in um, January. First uh, first Monday, Tuesday, whenever we did this of January in 2000. Right, right, up. What's right that? after the live sex celebration. Right after the live sex celebration. Um, in 2006. Oh boy, here we are in yeah, 2020. Dude, you know that New Year's Revolution 2006. As we are, how many other podcasts have had episodes in three different decades? I only know of one. <laughs> one other wrestling podcast. I only know one, of one other wrestling podcast. <laughs> one other wrestling podcast. Okay, there's not they, many. They've been, they've been doing it for a little bit longer than we have. Those sons of bitches. Bit, maybe like six months. Those sons of bitches. Yeah, it is what it is. Well, well, you know. Um, hey, you combine our ages and podcast years, and uh, we can co- collect social security. I will say, we've had more hosts. Ah. So. That's social security. I just, like, doubled, like tripled us. Uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we've had more hosts. Yeah. I don't know. If, is that a badge of honor, or? <laughs> I mean, like, not only podcasting hosts, but actual hosts of the show. Mm, okay. We need to get someone to Photoshop together a class picture. Yeah, because we're never getting everybody together. No, of course not. There's no absolute. All right, Garza, Garza, Wrestling oh. Revolution. Yeah. By the way, Garza, you know, was at the Tokyo Dome. I okay. I thought I saw him. Somebody told me. Yeah, I I, yeah. Didn't, I didn't see the message or anything. Oh wait, That's did you great. see him? Did you see him like at the Tokyo Dome? No, I saw I saw pictures. He okay, was I'm like, is he actually there? Or is he just taking these pictures from? I'm like, no, he's Garza. He's fucking the got friends him. of mayhem out there. That's awesome. All right. But yeah, we should we should see if Garza can Photoshop like a class photo of all of the hosts. <laughs> just like the weirdest poses possible. Everybody just does like and a like, and like have have um, Missy be the teacher on the side. Like, oh, what am I gonna do with these kids? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Amazing, Mike. It's fun to catch up with you. I'm looking forward. Uh, Ronnie Starks, I believe, is watching Wrestle Kingdom today, so he'll be brushed up on that as well. Um, we'll have mayhem, and we'll have um, some surprise guests. I think. Um, I did get I get word. I, I'm sorry. We'll have perfect vision. And we'll have perfect vision all year. All year. Perfect vision. In 2020. Oh, get I can't it. find the buttons now. How do I end the show? This is, no. a, bad, this is a bad idea. Taking no. my glasses off. You didn't have to take the glasses off. I was trying to make a point. Okay. I made a different point. <laughs> Mad Mike 4883 on the tweets. YouTube.com slash poppy. I see I see she's going coming to New York City in February. I would very much like to go. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, and Sorg, mm-hmm. guess where I'm going on January 16th? Where? I'm going to go see some fucking battle bots. Yeah! I'm Hell ex- yeah! I'm excited. I want to bring signs. <laughs> it's going to be great. If only it was hosted by Mick Foley. But, oh, uh, at Sorgatron on the Twitter, please follow everything. Please go check out IndieWrestling.us. We just released tonight the uh, Black Diamond Wrestling New Year Nightmare. Uh, there was a chain gang match, Mike. Chain gang is the click. 
Uh, Officer Dan Murphy and uh, Harley T. Morris were um, chained together, long handcuff chain. Um, we also had a lumberjack match uh, with our, our friends, the good guys, were a part of that in the Wayward Sons. Um, Chess Flexor, Troy Lords, and Thomas Mathis had a three way match, uh, which actually oh, is up for free. I was going to say, I'm like, wouldn't surprise Well, me. Troy Lords was asked how he felt about three ways. So. I mean, aren't we all asked that? Some you point? can get the answer uh, to that and other things on our YouTube, on the Indie Wrestling US YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram right now. You can watch that entire match. Um, <laughs> so for the internet television title. All right, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Until uh, we'll be here live again, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time on the Facebook Live. If you want to be with us in the chat, of course, on other wrestling mayhem show um, places, even the Indie Wrestling US Twitch. We'll see you guys then. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time in the Go give them what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time in the This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.